In every revolution, there's one man with a vision. Hey everybody, Steve here. I am the author of Deadlock, Fallout, and Shattered, three superhero uh, fiction novels. If you like the MCU and you like comic books and you don't mind not having pictures, uh, these books will absolutely feed your need for superhero action adventure. I was on X and I'm scrolling around X and I came across this uh, graphic from Culture Crave that had said Marvel Studios projects in development. So San Diego, San Diego Comic Con has come and gone and I'm guessing these are some of the things that have been uh, brought about or, 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 or talked about. And there's a lot of comments going on on, on, on that particular uh, thread in X about what was good, what was bad. So I thought I'd give my own opinion on some of the stuff going on. So I'm going to give you what I think is good, what I think might still come out. Yes, just, just my opinion. I'd like to know your opinion in the comments as we're going through this. You can drop a comment. Let me know if I'm way off base. Uh, if, uh, if you agree, if you think there's something I don't like that might not make it that you think might, let me know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk nerd. That's what we do here. All right. First up, on the way. Now, you really don't need to go through these. Most of them have dates. Um, Falcon America and Agatha have uh, dates that they're coming out. We all know the Avengers, the Fantastic Four is coming out. The Thunderbolts are, are going to be out soon. X-Men 97 absolutely is going to come back out. Uh, the Spider-Man freshman year. Pretty sure that's coming out. I'm, I, I put that in the on the way column because as far as I know, it's coming out. It's going to be a train wreck, but it's coming out. So don't need to spend a whole lot of time on this. Let's move ahead to the maybe column. So maybe these come out. Maybe they don't. Uh, we all know from a uh, Batgirl that they could absolutely make something and then just throw it away. Which is what I think Ironheart might be. I think Ironheart might be their Batgirl. I think they've already filmed some stuff. They've already got stuff, you know, done. But they're not bringing it out. Nobody wants to see Ironheart. Uh, but it's but they've they've made it. And so they might bring it out. They might not. Um, the uh, Shang-Chi 2. No. Uh, they can announce it all they want, but I don't, I don't think it's going to come out. I mean, I'm probably 80% sure it's not coming out. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man 4. If they do make Spider-Man 4, my bet is they're going to wait till after Secret Wars with the soft reboot to get another actor to play Spider-Man. Uh, it's sad. Why don't we just give Spider-Man a rest for a while? We don't need to have so many Spider-Man movies. Uh, the Tobey Maguire stuff was great. Uh, the, the new Disney stuff was more or less okay. Just give Spidey a rest. No, Armor Wars. That might not be a bad show if they do it right. Vision Quest. If, if they wouldn't insist on making shows for the blue-haired, 1,000 different pronoun uh, group of alphabet people, these shows might be good. But no, they have to make them for the modern audience. And that means they take all the canon, all the lore, everything that came before from all the source material, i.e. comic books, and they throw it away, and they, and they bring in a writer, and they say, here's the character, don't read any of the comic books, don't look at what, you just make this character whatever you want. And then they make a dumpster fire. So, 
these ones in yellow, they may come out, they may not come out. We'll see. Which brings us to the last group. Nope. Now, that's not because they're not bringing them out. That's because, quite frankly, nobody, nobody is asking for any of these shit. At any of these shows. Nova may have been good. If James Gunn was still attached to the MCU, I think he did a great job with the Guardians. And I think he had just this, this crazy, weird thing that worked for characters not on Earth. I think that would have worked with Nova. But since he's gone, no. Just, just leave Nova alone. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, Sidewinder. Falcon America hasn't even come out yet, and they're already talking about a Sidewinder spinoff series. Uh, I know the only reason they got uh, the actor playing Sidewinder is because they probably offered him another series. Like, if you do Falcon America, we'll give you your own series. You know, you, you, you front and center, star. And so that's probably why he is you know, where he is. But nobody needs it. Nobody wants a Sidewinder spinoff series. I'd rather have seen a uh, Crossbone series or a Taskmaster series if they had the real Taskmaster and not this weird creature thing that's posing as Taskmaster in the, uh, in the movies. And... Three. Do do we really need three Wakanda series? Uh, Black Panther was an okay movie. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Wakanda Forever stunk. It was it it, it bombed because one, it had no Black Panther. Two, it had a DEI diversity higher character that went by the name Namor sometimes. But that wasn't Namor. It wasn't Namor. So that movie stunk. I mean, trying to force three, three Wakandan shows onto the public is just complete cringe. I I don't think there's anything more cringy out there. Wakanda forever. I stand corrected. There is something more cringy out there. So there you have it. What do you guys think? Uh, am I completely off base? Do you think the uh, the maybes and the nopes have a really good chance of getting put on air? Is everything on this list going to see uh, a screen at some point in time? Or is is is, is less? Have, have I, have, have I uh, put not enough? In the nope column. Um, you guys let me know. You know what I think. I gave you my thoughts. Now it's time for you guys to turn around and give me your thoughts. Uh, let's hash this out and just see if the MCU actually learned anything. But I don't think they have. Well, that's all I got.